As we promised in our earlier video, here we are, with an in-depth analysis of NASA's 2020 mission. Please watch our previous video to get a basic understanding of the mission before proceeding. I will provide the link in the description. This video is divided into six parts. An overview about the mission, the launch and landing sequences, mission goals, landing site, scientific instruments, and an overview of Perseverance rover and Ingenuity helicopter. The Mars 2020 mission, with its Perseverance rover and Ingenuity Mars helicopter, is part of NASA's Mars Exploration Program, a long-term effort of robotic exploration of the Red Planet. The Mars 2020 mission addresses high-priority science goals for Mars exploration, including key astrobiology questions, like potential for life on Mars, and providing opportunities to gather knowledge and demonstrate technologies that address the challenges of future human expeditions to Mars. The rover will lift off aboard United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and will touch down in Jezero Crater on 18 February 2021. Just like every Mars mission, the upper stage of the rocket will enter into Earth-Mars trajectory a couple of hours after the launch and will continue its seven-month travel towards the Red Planet. Upon arriving Mars, the spacecraft will perform a set of entry descent and landing sequences to touch down on the Martian soil. The mission performs a terrain relative navigation for its safe landing on Mars. At first, the orbiter create and stores a map of the landing site from orbit. Descending on its parachute, the rover takes pictures of the fast approaching surface and compares it to its onboard map. The sky crane divert the rover toward safer ground if necessary, and perform a safe touchdown. Mars 2020 mission will lift off from Florida with four key goals. Let's analyze them one by one. Determining whether life ever existed on Mars. Perseverance rover focuses on surface-based studies of the Martian environment, seeking preserved signs of biosignatures in rock samples that formed in ancient Martian environments. It is the first rover mission designed to seek signs of past microbial life. Characterizing the climate of Mars. The rover's instruments are looking for evidence of ancient habitable environments where microbial life could have existed in the past. For this, the rover tries to study the current Martian environment. A better understanding of Mars' current climate will help scientists more effectively model its past climatic behavior. Characterizing the geology of Mars. The Perseverance rover is designed to study the rock records to reveal more about the geologic processes that created and modified the Martian crust and surface through time. Each layer of rock on the Martian surface contains a record of the environment in which it was formed. The magnetism of Mars gives clues to the planet's interior. Study of the ancient magnetic field provides important information about the interior structure, temperature, and composition of Mars in the past. The presence of magnetic fields also suggests that Mars was once a dynamic Earth-like planet than it is today. Prepare for human exploration. The Perseverance rover is demonstrating key technologies for using natural resources in the Martian environment for life support and fuel. It is also monitoring environmental conditions, which includes studying the amount of UV radiation reaching Martian surface, search for water resources, and presence of superoxides in Martian soil. This will help mission planners to understand better how to protect future human explorers. To perform all these studies, the selection of a perfect landing site is very critical. NASA chose Jezero Crater as the landing site after a five-year search, during which every available detail of more than 60 candidate locations on the Red Planet was scrutinized and debated by the mission team and the planetary science community. Jezero Crater is located on the western edge of Isidus Planitia, a giant impact basin just north of the Martian equator. The landing site in Jezero Crater offers geologically rich terrain, with landforms reaching as far back as 3.6 billion years old that could potentially answer important questions in planetary evolution and astrobiology. Jezero Crater's ancient Lake Delta system offers many promising sampling targets of at least five different kinds of rocks, including clays and carbonates, that have high potential to preserve signatures of past life. In addition, the material carried into the delta from a large watershed may contain a wide variety of minerals from inside and outside the crater. 
Now, as the mission objectives and the landing site were selected, NASA needs to determine the technology and instruments required to achieve these goals. Perseverance will carry 23 cameras, which includes seven scientific cameras to conduct unprecedented science and test new technology on the Red Planet. MastCam Z, an advanced camera system with panoramic and stereoscopic imaging capability, which will determine mineralogy of the Martian surface and assist with rover operations. SuperCam, an instrument that can provide imaging, chemical composition analysis, and mineralogy at a distance. Planetary instrument for X-ray lithochemistry, Pixel, is a X-ray fluorescence spectrometer and high-resolution imager to map the fine-scale elemental composition of Martian surface materials. Sherlock, a spectrometer that will provide fine-scale imaging and uses an ultraviolet laser to map mineralogy and organic compounds. Sherlock is accompanied by Watson, a high-resolution camera that captures the larger context images to support the study of informations that Sherlock collects on Martian mineral targets. The Mars Oxygen In Situ Resource Utilization Experiment a technology demonstration that will produce oxygen from Martian atmospheric carbon dioxide. If successful, MOXIE's technology could be used by future astronauts on Mars to burn rocket fuel for returning to Earth. Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer, a set of sensors that will provide measurements of temperature, wind speed and direction, pressure, relative humidity, and dust size and shape. The radar imager for Mars subsurface experiment, RIMFAX, is a ground-penetrating radar that will provide centimeter-scale resolution of the geologic structure of the subsurface. Along with these seven scientific cameras, Perseverance is equipped other additional cameras. It includes seven entry, descent, and landing cams to document entry, descent, and landing in even greater detail. They will shoot full-color video of Mars 2020 throughout its descent to the Martian surface. Perseverance is also equipped with an enhanced driving camera to give much more detailed information, in color, about the terrain around the rover for helping human operators on Earth to drive the rover more precisely, also to better target the movements of the arm, drill, and other tools that get close to their targets. Hazard detection cameras, called HOSCAMs, to detect hazards to the front and back pathways of the rover, such as large rocks, trenches, or sand dunes. Two color stereo navigation cameras, called NavCams, helps the rover to operate autonomously, making its own navigation decisions, without consulting controllers on Earth. Perseverance is equipped with a sample caching system and is composed of a 2.1 meters long five-jointed robotic arm and a drill bit, which is able to cut out intact cores of Martian rock. These cores, about the size of a piece of chalk, go into sample tubes. These tubes are then moved into the storage compartment within the rover for future Mars mission to collect and bring them back to Earth. It also includes a new camera, the Cache Cam, to record sample collection, which will take pictures of sampled materials and the sample tubes as they are being prepared for sealing and caching. The car-sized Perseverance rover has roughly the same dimensions as NASA's Curiosity rover. It's about 3 meters long, 2.7 meters wide, and 2.2 meters tall, and weighs 1,025 kilograms. Engineers redesigned the Perseverance rover wheels to be more robust than Curiosity's wheels, which have sustained some damage. The rover will have thicker and more durable aluminium wheels, with reduced width and a greater diameter than Curiosity's 50 centimeters wheels. Perseverance is powered by a multi-mission radio isotope thermoelectric generator that has a mass of 45 kilograms and uses the heat from the natural decay of plutonium-238 to generate electricity. The 1.8 kilograms Ingenuity helicopter scout interesting targets on Mars and help plan the best driving route for future Mars rovers. It is expected to fly up to five times during its 30-day test campaign, and each flight is planned to take no more than three minutes at altitudes ranging from three to 10 meters above the ground that could potentially cover a distance of up to 300 meters per flight. It is equipped with an inertial navigation sensor, laser altimeter, and two navigation cameras. Perseverance rover is expected to operate for one Martian year, or almost two Earth years. So, let's wait to see how the mission perseveres in Martian soil, 
to uncover its mysteries and aid future human Martian exploration. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe our channel for more science and engineering related videos. And as always, thanks for watching.